A male individual's mummified remains were found in a remote cave on Sicily's Mount Etna, located in Italy. The reason for his passing is currently unknown, but authorities have said that he could have been there since the 1970s. Authorities in Sicily are conducting an investigation to determine if the human remains discovered in a remote cave in Mount Etna belong to a journalist who went missing over five decades ago. The remains discovered have been identified as those of a male individual who is believed to have passed away sometime between the 1970s and early 1990s. According to authorities, the man was estimated to be at least 50 years old and had a height of approximately 1.7 meters. Additionally, he had congenital deformities in his nasal and oral regions. According to reports, the decedent's attire consisted of long, opaque trousers, a knitted sweater, and a striped shirt. The apparel was located next to the remains, as well as a woolen cap with bobbles, a dark green raincoat, several Italian lira coins, an Omega wristwatch, a hairbrush, and a leather case, as well as Pivetta shoes in size 41. During a training exercise in the area, an officer with Catania's finance police and his rescue dog discovered something noteworthy. According to officials who've been conducting investigations, the region where they conduct their training is quite secluded and they make periodic visits to the area. The discovery of the remains was credited to the sniffer dog. Investigators made a comparison between the enigma, dubbed the Man of Etna by the Italian media, to a storyline that could be found in one of the works of Andrea Camilleri, the late author of Inspector Montalbano books. One of the investigators said that they have not encountered such an occurrence before. He also mentioned that currently, every hypothesis is under consideration and none of them have been disregarded. According to officials, the cave located on the highest active volcano in Europe was very challenging to reach. It is uncertain whether the man entered the cave out of his own free will or was forced to, but he may not have been able to exit it. Several members of the public have contacted the police after the discovery of remains, including Franca de Mauro, the daughter of a prominent investigative journalist, Mauro de Mauro, who disappeared in Palermo in 1970 and was never found. Several leads were pursued in the investigation of his disappearance. One hypothesis was that the Cosa Nostra Mafia kidnapped him due to his knowledge. At this point, officials have said that they are researching the Demoro theory and other individuals who have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The number of missing persons in Italy is a matter of concern and has drawn significant attention from authorities, communities and the general public. While obtaining accurate and up-to-date statistics on missing persons can be challenging, it is evident that a significant number of individuals have disappeared in the country over the years. Italy, with its rich history and diverse population, has faced various challenges related to missing persons. It is essential to understand that each missing person case is unique and the reasons for their disappearance can vary significantly. The exact number of missing persons in Italy fluctuates over time as new cases are reported and resolved. According to the Italian Ministry of Interior, in 2020, approximately 4,400 people were reported missing. While this figure represents a significant number of individuals, it is crucial to note that the majority of reported cases are eventually resolved, with individuals being located or returning voluntarily. Nonetheless, some cases remain unresolved, contributing to the overall count of missing persons. The Italian authorities, including law enforcement agencies and specialized units, play a crucial role in addressing and investigating missing person cases. They collaborate with local communities, international organizations, and other countries to gather information, share data, and conduct thorough investigations. These efforts aim to ensure the swift and safe recovery of missing individuals and provide support to their families. The Italian government has implemented various measures to address the issue of missing persons. These include the establishment of dedicated helplines, specialized units, and databases to centralize information and facilitate the coordination of search and rescue operations. Additionally, public awareness campaigns have been launched to encourage citizens to report missing persons promptly and provide any relevant information that could aid in investigations. Non-governmental organizations and volunteer groups also contribute significantly to the search for missing persons in Italy. These organizations work alongside law enforcement agencies, 
provide support to families of missing individuals, raise awareness about the issue, and advocate for policies and measures to prevent disappearances and improve search and rescue efforts. It is important to acknowledge that addressing the issue of missing persons requires not only reactive measures, but also proactive steps to prevent disappearances from occurring in the first place. Prevention efforts include educational programs in schools, community initiatives to promote personal safety, and raising awareness about potential risks and vulnerabilities. Mount Etna, located on the eastern coast of Sicily, Italy, is one of the world's most renowned and active volcanoes. With its imposing presence and fiery eruptions, it has captivated the imagination of both scientists and tourists for centuries. Standing tall at approximately 3,300 meters or 10,900 feet, Mount Etna dominates the landscape and plays a significant role in shaping the region's history, culture and geology. Firstly, the geological significance of Mount Etna cannot be overstated. It is a stratovolcano characterized by its steep slopes and layered construction formed by successive eruptions over thousands of years. Etna's eruptions are primarily driven by the movement of tectonic plates along the boundary of the African and Eurasian plates, causing intense pressure and magma to rise to the surface. Its continuous activity has resulted in the accumulation of a massive volcanic cone and a diverse range of lava flows that have shaped the surrounding terrain. These lava flows often solidifying into basalt, have given rise to fertile soil and nurtured the growth of lush vegetation, making the area around the volcano ideal for agriculture. So, what do you make of this mysterious individual who was found on Mount Etna? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos.